house fires and the cause and effect is the fire department comes in if you ever seen the fire department work they go in there and they make sure anything that's smoking they pour water on it um, I used to be with the local fire department as a volunteer and you watch them t take a wall apart well, the fire itself of the house didn't cause much damage. It's the fire department that went looking for the fire that caused a lot of it. They, they will open up a roof and they will open up the walls. So you do is, in my house, I happen to have fire extinguishers in every room and smoke alarms. Why? Why, why? Yeah. But one of the causes is, besides smoking in, in a house or your kids playing with matches, if you don't smoke, you don't have matches. But one of the, one of the big problems is overloading the uh, wall outlets. Uh, people, you should be, uh, uh, after 95, there's a lot of house fires, and they couldn't understand as well. You have a monitor here that draws the amperage. You have a computer here that has a 350-watt uh, power source on it. You have all this other stuff. And people would stick it into one socket. What would happen? Well, what would happen is the wires in the walls were getting warm. And depending on how old the house is, a lot of old homes basically do not have um, tubing in the in a in the thing, and it just heated it up. And if you don't understand that, I can I can tell you from the motion picture field or film as a filmmaker that I can I can melt one of those orange cords which is rated at that thing mm -hmm. you put two two quartz lights on it two two one k's and it will melt so house fires you got they, they look at this stuff and they say yeah the kid somebody overloaded the socket and it burned 